know, it's cold outside, so it's time for some high-proof bourbon. Yes, it is. Welcome back to another edition of Bourbon Kingdom. I am David. And I'm Zach. And today we are talking about kind of our 2023 everyday cast strength, barrel proof um, whiskeys that we're drinking on. He really hates saying cast proof. I, I do hate saying cast strength. <laughs> or cast strength. I said cast proof. Gosh. Yeah. So we always get asked kind of like what are some of our favorite uh, higher proof bourbons? Are, so we just kind of thought, you know, in 2023, why not just make a video about it? I mean, it? the truth is, we could probably name some really allocated stuff, but that's not kind of what we want to do. I think we want to think, really yeah. think and look at some things that are pretty readily available on the shelves that you could go pick up tomorrow if you really wanted to. Well, and all of these for <laughs> our area are bottles we can find on the shelf. We understand that not every area out there in the country has the same thing. Has the exact same I feel thing. like we put that disclaimer on everything. We understand. I know, but we have to. There's always that one person True. who puts on there. I can't find any of these bottles on there. If you can't find any of these, I would probably look at moving into a different type of spirit, such as rum or tequila. Or just moving and <laughs> moving to a place where bourbon is more readily available for yeah. yourself. And Get a new job, change your careers, <laughs> do all that kind of stuff. And just kind of like figure out something else. For whiskey, and whenever your family asks you if you have a problem, just tell them no. Change <laughs> your life. Uh, also, just so uh, we're clear, just go ahead and put the comments below how many of these bottles you all can find on the list. Hopefully, it's most of them. Uh, my goal was like, man, hopefully, you can find like seven or eight of them. Uh, but either way, we'll see. So hit the notification like button. Yeah. Uh, all right. You want to go ahead and start? Yeah, first off. All right. So we have 10 of these, and we're just going to knock two of them off. Yeah. Right uh, off that. Old Forester 1920. And Wild Turkey Rare Breed. Uh, you all know our love for these. If you've watched our channel at all, if you don't, we love them. Yeah. We like them a lot. Uh, and these are just in perfect proof ranges that we really, really enjoy. Some of the best bottles of whiskey, yeah. in my opinion, I would argue it's ever made because of the consistency of being able to get them, the finability, the yeah. affordability, all the stuff of it. And... Yeah, they're everywhere. You so should have, you if, should have them on your bar. And if you're looking for a review of it, just type these in in that little search bar yeah. above after this video is over, and you'll find probably 80 to 100 videos on both of these. That's so. so true. All right. So, all right. So I'll start then with the old, literally, it says on there, Arrowproof from Cardinal. So this is actually a source product from its. They're from Bloomington, Indiana. But it's a source product from MGP. It's like five years old-ish. Most of them are five years old. Uh, these are kind of a little bit of a hidden gem. These are a little bit harder to find. This is actually probably going to be like either the hardest or second hardest one to find on the list. Yeah, I would say so. Um, but they do sell on shelves. They're just really solid barrel-proof MGP. Like that's what they're five years old. Like I said, maybe some are closer to six. Uh, it's just super solid stuff all around. So, and who goes wrong with MGP? That is true. Who does go wrong with MGP? Uh, then we have our benchmark uh, foolproof. Again, this one has kind of made a comeback in the last uh, 12 months of really kind of being on people's radar. Oh, we're just talking like benchmark in general. Yeah, benchmark oh, yeah, in yeah. general. And well, so, because they, they wised up and they started, I don't want to say it was gimmicky, but they started doing different releases of benchmark. Yeah. And, and so, like, these are just. I'm, really, all the benchmark are really pretty generally good, and for the, for price, the price point, yeah. for the price point, you're, I mean, you're talking 19, 20, 22 bucks somewhere in yeah. there, and you're getting a foolproof bourbon at I can't remember what the 125. So this is like of our cast strengths that we're looking at. This is going to be on the upper end of our cast strengths that yeah. we're that we're looking at. Uh, just a really good drinker for. Uh, for such a, a cheap bourbon. At the end of the day, it's foolproof Buffalo Trace. Yes, it is Buffalo <laughs> Trace. I forgot to say that too. Yes, yeah, it's it, Buffalo at Trace. At the end of the day, yeah. it's Buffalo Trace. So yeah. everybody's going to lose their ever-loving mind about it. It's great. No, it is not last year's GTS. It's watered down or whatever people were speculating it was. No. But it's still... At 125 amazing, so. proof, you ain't, that's not watered down. So No, <laughs> like, no. That's, I mean, a, that's, a good, that's a good heater, so... Cool. All right, so my my next one on the list is going to be Penelope Barrel Proof. Uh, so this one is actually batch eight. I don't know 
Excuse this always me. just makes me think of Re Wreck-It Ralph. Penelope does. So, anyway. I'm not of age to know that with well, kids yet. He's got kids that... I, I will figure it out, I imagine, here shortly. Yeah. So, all of these are a little different with the batches. Uh, I've only had one batch where it wasn't necessarily my favorite. Yeah. But for the most part, all of them are pretty great. I'm, I'm actually a big fan of their barrel proofs. Not so much for toasted, but I'm actually a big fan of their barrel proofs. And, you know, for us in this area, they sit. Like, yeah, they do. A lot of the Penelope sits those. in this area. Yeah, you can get them. I'm assuming that the, the amount of stocks they have of it going out is quite a bit. And, yeah, again, I think this one's like 117 yeah. or something. Yeah. Uh, so it's just like that perfect, or that perfect, that perfect proof for us, at least especially. That's a good so. word that you just made up. Proofing. Proofing. It's a proof. Proofing. Yeah, yeah, so just we're, we're, we're going to make that go uh, viral. Proofic. Everything's proofic. So, uh, all right, let's go with the old uh, Stellum. The old Stellum Black. I the old Stellum Black. It's not really, to me, it doesn't really look black. It's kind sure of like either. it's bluish, like there's blue flake in it and all that stuff. Whatever. This uh, comes in at 109 proof. Uh, this is a barrel product correct yep yeah it's a barrel product which in turn is a mgp product uh in, which is well no actually it's a blend i this is a blend of indiana kentucky and tennessee oh is it okay yep. I, um it says it right there if you read i, I don't read <laughs> i make it a point in my life not to read uh anyway stellum uh, at 109 proof cast strength this is just a really good uh drinker uh i matter of fact i've drank it I've, I've had quite a few drinks out of this one um, uh, we both have. Yeah, it's so. actually really good. I remember thinking to myself, I was driving home in this like early part of the year. I was driving home, a little bit of a snowstorm going on. Yeah, and this bar was releasing them, and I was like, "All right, fine." I got yeah, off the I'll exit, run. and I was like, "I can't believe I'm doing." It. And the guy and I walk in, the guy's like, "Wow, somebody actually showed." Up. Like, well, <laughs> you are having a release, you and are. he's like, "Oh, so you want one of the Blantons or EHO?" I said, "No, I want one of the Stellums." He's like. All right, I'm really confused now. I was like, well. Yeah, You're like, like well, I can get Blanton's and <laughs> E.H. Taylor. Uh, so anyway, this uh, is a really good, I, I, to me, a good entry into cast strength bourbon. Yep. Uh, I feel like it gives you enough of a punch in there that kind of lets you like. It also drinks older. Like there's older yeah. stuff in there. I don't know if that's true. I don't know anything about the blend. But, but it I, just, I, to yeah, me. I agree with that. It I, does drink I, older. I, I think you're right. All right, so this is a brand new one that I have been like sourcing out to people to be able to try. Uh, this is your Bullet Bourbon Barrel Strength. And yes, the only reason why I ever went out and bought this was because Mr. Matt Porter himself, ADHD Whiskey, was sitting there. I watched one of the lives where this blonde beat some of the stuff that Dan and Sean put out there. And I was like, I'm not the biggest Bullet fan, but let me at least buy it and I'll try it. And it's actually pretty good. I still haven't tried this because I'm not a Bullet fan, uh, but I will probably take a sample of this home. Everybody who I've sampled this out to, they all say the same thing. That's that's like that's some of the best Bullet they've ever had outside of like stuff that was sourced. Yeah, single barrel picks. Yeah, uh, but they all yeah they're all kind of really big fans of which I agree. I this I didn't know anything about it. Had never bought it. Never thought about yeah. it. And well, then saw that and boom. well, thank you, Matt. Uh, then we'll go with. Uh, where, listen, if you're trying to get into cast strength uh, and you're having trouble trying to choose a cast strength to go to, uh, if you've been in the bourbon world at all in your life, Maker's Mark is... You probably say a red wax top. Yeah, red wax top. It's always available. You can find this anywhere. Matter of fact, you could probably like trip in a grocery store and there'd be a bottle that you trimmed on. So, uh, and these cast strengths, again, this comes in at the same, about the same proof as the, as the Stellum. Um, but if, if you've had any of the Maker Mark cast strength, like they're just really, really good. Uh, and they're really easy to drink. And I, I just, pretty I'm much a, anything Maker's Mark is easy to drink. That is true. <laughs> uh, there's a few things I, that become like, I think aren't that great, but. So I, I debated I'm not even telling this because I put this on the list. I debated about putting the cash strength 46. Because actually I like that better than this. But it says limited. I don't know how limited it actually is. Like I feel like most people could get that out there. So let me know in the comments below if you whenever that because it comes out once a year. Yeah. But let me know if realistically if you can get that or not. Because I feel like pretty much everybody can. It's actually my favorite 
outside of picks, that's my favorite maker's mark. Yeah. I think. Yeah. So. All right. And my last one. And we couldn't do a list of everyday kind of cash drinks without one of my favorites. The old Chattanooga whiskey. <laughs> the old Chattanooga. Chattanooga. So. Oh, shout out to. Shout out to Ken for stopping us. Uh, yeah, I was actually going to bring it up. I forget, was it day 22, 23? 23. It was 23. Yeah, it was 23. Yeah, Advent day 22, 23. If you want to see us look like clowns more than normal, please go to that one. I thought the bottle he sent us was like a 17, like, I thought it had a 17 year. I thought scotch. Yeah. It, this thing was wild. He and sent, it was really good. He sent me a message and said he opened it and then... He came back to it and he said it just had a funkiness to it that he just wanted to see what we thought about it's it. It's wild. Yeah. It, yeah. it as much as I love this stuff. I was drinking on this. This is seventeen it's a seventeen year old, by by the way. <laughs> yeah. No. No. <laughs> no, this stuff is at best <laughs> three. It, two to three years yeah, old. Yeah, two to three years old. And it's a six to ten barrel blend. Yeah. Like for this stuff being so freaking oh my gosh. Like it, it's just it's so it, I was so blown away with it, but I enjoy this because I even went and I poured some of this and I tried it and I was like, this is very berry and fruit forward. Yeah. And that one was like oaky and scotchy. Yeah, it was, it was, was really, like, wow. it was really. But really these are great, great. super cheap, yeah. super available. And then uh, again, there's not, I mean, if you know us and you know our love for the Jack Daniels, like anything in the, in this bottle format is pretty much... Uh, almost a hitter, uh, but these barrel proofs—they're uh, not that difficult. They—I can't say that they're not difficult to find, but they're not easy to find. They don't sit on every shelf. They don't. I just saw one the other day at Cox's. I almost picked it up, but I—I I didn't. And I'm hoping that if I, when I go back, that it's sure. there. Here's the thing: I don't like. We talk about this a lot, and I almost didn't want to put this on the list because we talk about so much and I feel like most people should know. I get messages about it all the time. Like, hey, is this stuff good? <laughs> yes. Yes. Like, it's great. And, oh. I, and I'm not just saying that because it's Jack Daniels. It's all part of the Brown Foreman family. And this and is the highest proof on the on of the cast rank. Oh, this is, is like at 128, yeah. something like that. But, yeah. and I will say some of the older Jack Daniels picks that were a little bit older, a little bit higher proof, they are incredible and they seem to be gone for right now. These are some of the best bottles that sit on the shelf outside of the 1920s yeah. and rare breeds. Yeah. Just flat out. Yeah, they're just like solid, almost, I mean, they're really consistent to me. Yes. Uh, yeah, they in, are. In, in, their, in their scope, like, I know that they're different, but mm -hmm. but essentially they still are you really still consistent. still get a ton of chocolate yeah. off that. Yeah. And it's just, it is those dark, powerful flavors yeah. that I personally really enjoy. Yeah. Um, yeah from those types of bottles. Yeah, so good. So, so uh, that is our list. Mm -hmm. If uh, Tell us what kind of barrel strengths you're, or cask strengths that you're. Uh, any kind of high proof whiskey you any, like. Any, every day that you're drinking, we know that there's a bunch of allocated stuff out there that are, it's hard to get that you may be lucky enough to have your hands on, but we're talking like everyday things yeah. that are that are good to drink. So uh, let us know what you what you're drinking on or even suggest what some things that we could uh, possibly find and drink on. Because uh, we're always looking for good bourbon. All right. All right. Well, till next time. See you. We'll see you.